What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Ghost of Lord Master Starscream. And today I will be reviewing this. The le the Lego Bat the Lego or hang on. The Batman movie Lego Batmobile The Penguin Chase set. This is a set I've been looking forward to for quite some time and I I'm pretty happy I got this set. I almost I almost didn't have enough money to afford the set, but I hey, I I'm actually happy I finally got this set. But well, taking a look at the box, as you see, we got the penguin right here just running, and here's Batman right here, all charged up on his uh, Batmobile, spitting out flames, and he's shooting some missiles right there. We got the Batman logo right there. Here's the Batman with the Batman logo right there, and you get two mini figures. You get a uh, penguin. And uh, the Batman right there. Hang on a minute. I have to grab something. Hold on a minute. Okay. Never mind. All right. Sorry about that. Hold on. Okay. Anyways. All right. Sorry. I had to take care of something. So sorry about the pause right there. And also right here, you get uh, a little bit of a p animated type picture of uh, Robert. Oh, if it'll focus. Hold on a minute. Uh, okay. There we go. Of uh, Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman right there. So, yeah. And, and yeah, and also, this is an 8 and plus set, and this is set number, uh, uh, hang on, 76181, and like I said, there's the name of it right there, and the, we got 392 pieces, and yeah. So yeah, and also it says, uh, building toy right there, but yeah, on the side of the box, oh, hold on, I'll have to, let me, uh, was like this there we go on the here's the side of the box with the lego batman and all that stuff lego life and all on the opposite side of the box we have the batman logo and the batman right there dc and here's the uh here's the bottom of the box right here and here's the barcode if you wanna if you guys oh, wanna, if you guys wanna scan it there you go and here's the uh, the top of the box with some uh, some crazy stuff. Lego, the set number, all this stuff right here. I don't know what that's about. And there's the Batman logo. And here's uh, how big the Lego Batman figure is that you get with this set. And also here's the, uh, the back of the box. Let me uh, try to get this put back here as best I can. I might have to hold it, but eh, it's all right. But yeah, uh, let me put it back here. There we go. Yeah, here's a, a picture of the back of the Batmobile. It shows that you can shoot some missiles if you push down on the hood. Here's a nice shot of the back of the Batmobile, and there's Batman right there. There's another image of Batman right there. Lego.com, DC Superheroes, DC right there. And this right here, this image, I believe, is a image that was released not too long ago, or some time ago, I should say, of uh, Batman standing right next to the Batmobile, and they're trying to replicate this image. And with that, I think that's about it for the uh, the packaging. So yeah, what do you say we uh? Let me put it right there. What do you say we get down to the review? I'll be back in a sec. And here we go. Here's the Lego Batman. Or hang on, yeah, the the Batman Lego Batmobile. I have to try to get it right every time. I'm probably gonna keep failing, but anyways, here it is, right here with the penguin and all that. So yeah. And so I guess we'll start with the uh, the minifigure. So let me uh, just, I should have took this figure out immediately, but it's all right. So I'll just take Batman out of the driver's seat. My, uh, excuse me, Mr. Slipstream, put him right there. I want to try to get this uh, pegged all the way down. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, I guess we'll take a look at uh, the star of the show, which is uh, Batman. Hopefully if I could uh, get in close. Oh, okay, there, here, here we go, yeah. I actually like the look of this Batman figure. He's nicely detailed. And, uh, oh, hold on, sorry. I, I have a little guest here that I'm trying to hold on to for a minute before I, uh, have to put her out for the night. Because I, I had to do something that I got. But don't worry, that's a little, I have a little kitty with me. But I had, like I said, anyways, besides that, we ain't talk, here to talk about kitties. We're here to talk about Batman. But anyways, yeah. The Batman figure looks uh 
really nice. I actually like the look of it. He's nicely detailed. He has some sparkles to him. And, uh, yeah, he has a nice cloth cape. And uh, if you look, raise up the cape, he has uh, some nice detailing on the back right there. And, um, yeah, I do have a problem with the cowl. I wish it was a they used a different version of the cowl. And also on the box it shows something else. Just, and you know what? I'm going to show you that right now. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. After looking closer, like, from a distance, it looked like that the part of the cow right there was chopped off. So, yeah, my bad on that. But, yeah. But, hey, there's a, some closer images right there for you. But, anyways, besides that, on with the figure. Still nicely detailed. He, st he poses like a regular Lego minifigure. And, but you can uh, take off the, he the head or the, the cowl. And, yeah, I, I like the look of it. I wish they could have done a new version but and eh, whatever oh trying to focus focus there we go yeah here's uh bruce wayne and it's just his uh his regular uh mean like face i hate that it goes unfocused every time focus focus i'm trying to get in a little closer hopefully the okay it's kind of hard for it to focus but there we go we'll, we'll keep it right there and if you look on the back it's him smiling but i'm not really a fan of this face i kind of like him with the uh the mean face because it looks in the trailer said i don't think this batman will be smiling to be honest with you it looks like he's going to be uh with a mean face and also this this batman figure right here does come uh, with an inter interchangeable head and i'm gonna put that on him real quick hold on a minute and there it is right there with its uh regular human face without his cowl on and let's get a closer look at that Hopefully, uh, if it if it'll focus for me. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's him with a like. He's like giving the eyebrow right there. Not a face I would uh, display display him with. And I, yeah, here we go. This is the face I would display him with. Let me uh, he if you turn the head around and let me put the hair on. He has like a little bit of a mean expression right there, which is definitely something that the Robert Pattinson Batman looks like he does have. I don't, like I said, I don't think this Batman will be smiling or anything like that. So this, yeah, definitely pretty cool that you get this option. That you could uh, give him an in interchangeable head. So, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to stand him up. So, yeah, with that, give me a minute and I'll uh, put his regular head back on. And there we go. I got his cowl back on and I did not take those out of shot. So, yeah, oops. That there was a little bit of an accident. But anyways, besides the point. So, um... Yeah, and he does come with an accessory besides the Batmobile itself. He does come with a couple of Batarangs. I think he came with two, but I don't remember for sure. So, yeah, you could just uh, clip it onto his hand, and yeah. But we do not know if in the film he'll be using Batarangs, because so far in the trailers I did not see him do that. All I, all, all I was seeing, basically, was him getting shot by bullets and just beating the crap out of people. So, yeah. But other than that, this is actually a good Batman figure. To go with this set. So yeah. And with that. I think we're going to take a look at the penguin now. And here we go. Here is the uh, the penguin. I'm. To be honest. I'm not a fan of this penguin. To be honest with you. Well I mean. I like the look of it. But it's just the face. So I'm going to take his, uh, his little Glock. Or his pistol. And a rocket launcher thing out. But. Let me straighten out his hair. He's a little crooked. There we go. Oh, I crooked it again. There we go. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the the head sculpt. It's, it looks a little weird, in my opinion, but eh. Does he have a... Yeah, he has some an interchangeable head. I might uh, display him. I might change the head to an angry face. Because this film looks like it's going to be like an angry type movie. There we go, because he'll be a little frustrated. But yeah, he's nicely detailed. He has a little bit of a purple. He has the tie right there. And it looks like he's supposed to be wearing like a little trench coat. And, uh, yeah, and there's the back. He has some back detailing for the wrinkles on his clothes. So, yeah. And he does come with a couple of accessories. He comes with uh, a rocket launcher right here that does shoot. Hopefully I don't lose any of the studs. If you push down on it. Hold on. Let me. I don't want to take a chance. But, yeah, if you push down on it, you do shoot one of the studs. I would shoot it, but I don't want to risk losing it. But, yeah, this actually, I think this is a new piece right here. I could be wrong. But, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool for 
thing for him to come with. And also he comes with a, a little Glock or a pistol. Let me kind of show some of the details. There we go. Not much going on with it. It's pretty cool. And you could just uh, d display them with it. But I display them with both of the guns so he could do wield because this Batmobile from the trailers doesn't look like it'll be playing around. And I think he's going to need all the firepower he could get just to uh, to shoot at it. Like it was going to do anything. Literally, the Batmobile crashed itself and he thought he got him. So, yeah. But, yeah. Pretty cool figure. They, I, I wish they gave him a vehicle in this set, but eh. I guess they would have upped the cost, but eh, it's all right. So yeah, with that, I think that's about it for the uh, the minifigures. And with that, I think we'll get down to the uh, the Batmobile now. So give me you guys a sec, and I'll show you the Batmobile. And here we go. Here is the uh, the Batmobile from the uh, the Batman movie. And I gotta say, this is actually a pretty cool set. And this is literally one of my most favorite Batmobiles. Seeing it in the trailer in action was pretty awesome. You barely got to see it in the uh, in the first trailer, but seeing it in the second trailer was actually uh, pretty cool. And I I could be wrong, but I believe it's supposed to be a modif a modif a combination of a couple cars. I think it's also supposed to be ah, supposed to be a combination of a Corvette of some kind. And this is not in this Batman movie. Will not if I'm not mistaken, this film will not be taking place in the 2000s. This will be taking place years before then. So, and plus, this film will be based on Batman, or this version of Batman is has been Batman for at least two years from the leaks. So, this is pretty much Batman Year Two. But, anyways, besides that, we're going to talk about the Batmobile. I'm going to go ahead and take off all the. Uh, oh, darn it! I'm going to go ahead and take off all the uh, the little fire effects because. We don't need to see that right now. And I'll go ahead and put them back in later. We go and remove all. Oh, yeah, this set does have. When you try to remove the effect pieces, it does tend to pop stuff off a lot. So, okay, there we go. We're going to move all that to the side. I should have took off all, took off all that. Besides, it kind of looks better without it for right now. But yeah, this is actually a pretty cool set. I like the detail they put into it. So let's get a little bit closer. We got the hood right here. This is this right here is a sticker. I'll point out all the stickers I can, hopefully, if I don't forget. But yeah, the hood is nicely detailed. I especially like what they did with the front, especially adding that oh shoot, the little orange translucent pieces right there. The headlights. We got some sticker detailing here, right there, and also right there. If it'll, it's kind of hard to tell. There you go. You can kind of see the little sticker right there. And also here's the other side. We have some uh, sticker detailing right here. Stickers, uh, sticker detailing on the roof, and also here on the back. I love the back. I the the head that uh, the tail lights are stickers, and also you get some uh, little uh, readers right here. I guess on how much engine power is being used. And man, this engine is not playing around. Clearly from the trailer, you could tell this Batmobile will not be playing around when it's on the road, especially seeing it on set in set photos. Hold on, let me straighten. Try to get this to match up. There we go. Yeah, like I said, seeing it in uh, set photos and also in action on set, and like I said, seeing it in the trailer, this, like I said, this Batmobile will not be playing. This is a big engine. Like, literally, it's just an exposed engine, and which is a bad idea in my opinion because Penguin could just come up right behind it. Or if Batman just drives right past Penguin and he has a rocket launcher, he'll just shoot a rocket right at the engine. So, yeah. But still, I think it's awesome. It's based on a muscle car. And also, same right here. We got stickers. We got some more stickers on the inside, but we'll get to that in a minute. And another thing I like about this Batmobile, it's kind of, hopefully, I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but I like that the front end is lowered and the back end is jacked up upwards. So yeah, this is another thing I like about it. And it does roll really good. And before we get to the features, I will show off the inside. Like I said, there are the stickers right there. But anyways, going looking at the interior, it's going to be hard to do. But you can fit too many figures in there. And also, that's a sticker right there. I like how they designed the seats. And also, there's a sticker right there. It's kind of hard to tell because of the steering wheels in the way. But yeah, that's a sticker right there. 
has uh, the speed dials and everything, and also all the buttons he needs to push. And I guess if you want, you could put Penguin in there. It'd be cool if it had a pair of handcuffs, so you could have him handcuffed and have Penguin ride it, ride with him, so you could just take him to a uh, Gotham PD or something like that. But yeah, it's nice, and you can uh, fit Batman in there, and this is where he'll be for the rest of the video. And also, I just want to point this out. I think the, real quick, let me put this back on real quick. I think the scaling may be a little off, in my opinion, because I know, we obviously know this is not how big the car would really be. Because, I mean, I saw the set photos, so he, he stands at least about this tall compared to the Batmobile, so. But, eh. They did what they had to do to get all the detailing, but yeah, you could, this is the driver's side, obviously, so you could just put him right there. If I could get him in there, let me get his hands. You know what, it'd be better if he was with his hands up so I could uh and also you do have to work with the cape unfortunately so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cape right there because I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it I could get him in there there we go you know what let me try to get the cape folded in there for now but you can't sit you cannot set have him set like that you have to have him <coughs> lay all the way back so yeah, I'm just going to put his hands all the way down there. Let me straighten up his mask. There we go. And yes, you can put Penguin in there, but I'm not going to do that. But you can just put it on there, and there you go. There's Batman right there in the driver's seat. Pretty cool. And as you did see, this set does come with a couple of accessories for the Batmobile itself besides Batman. And we have all these... uh little effects pieces. In my opinion, I don't like that they use the blue. Okay, yes, in the trailer, blue was coming out from the engine, but I looked at some of the trailers. I'll have to look at it again. I think orange was coming out from the pipes right here and also the hood. I swear, from the trailer, it was shooting orange, so that's the only complaint I have to make, but eh, it's all right. But yeah, you could just put this piece here and also... These little uh, fire fist pieces right here, or these blast effect pieces, go right here on each side. One on each side, so just put one right there. Turn it around. Put it right here. Make sure the, make sure, and make sure it's kind of like that. And then these little small pieces right here, it just go right here on the hood. And these little slots right here. Same for the other side. Put it right there, and there you go. And there you go. He's uh he's already uh, burning rubber right now. He's trying to chase down the penguin like he was doing in the uh, the Batman trailer. At first, I wasn't going to display the set like this. I had these removed and just these two pieces on there. But later on, after I plugged them in, I realized this is actually pretty cool. So, yeah. And also, this set does come with a little feature, as you saw. See on the back right there. It does shoot missiles, so all you have to do is push down on this. As you see right here, there's these little, uh, there's two of these. There's one right here and here, but you could push down on both of them. There's these launchers, and if you push down on them, hopefully I could get a good angle on this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you just push down on these launchers, and you launch the, uh, the missiles, hopefully. Oh, ooh, I hit the camera. Let me see if I could, uh, put that back, put those back in real quick, and I'll try to launch one at a time this time, but that's going to be a little difficult, so hold on a minute. Okay, get it back in. There we go. And these are really strong springs, so here we go. All right, I'm going to try to push one. Yeah, there goes one. I'm going to try to get it and just push down on the other one. Like I said, these are really strong springs, so if you're going to give this to uh, an 8-year-old, I highly recommend him not uh, pointing this at his face. I'm going to go ahead and put one right put one in there real quick. Actually, you know what? I'll put them both in there. You do get extras. As you see right here, you do get extra ones. I don't know what these pieces are doing in here. I don't remember these pieces being in here. I'll have to look at the instructions when I show them off at the end of the video. But, yeah. If those ain't supposed to be in there, then I'll have to figure out what to do with those. But, yeah. So, yeah, you get two extra missiles in case you lose one. And, yeah. Uh, all in all, I actually like this set. This is one of my favorite Lego Batman sets. And if you want to complete 
the uh, Lego uh, Batcave, you do have to get this set. And if you want to complete this set, you have to get the uh, the Batcave. But unfortunately, that costs seventy dollars, and I don't think I will be buying it. Yes, it comes with the Riddler. I do want the Riddler, but considering that it costs that much, I don't think I'm going to get it at this point because, well, I mean. I'll, I'll see what I could do in the future, but and right now that's a set I'm really not interested in. But I will try to get the uh, the two pack with the uh, Batman and uh, Catwoman with their uh, motorcycles because I know I'll be able to get that. Plus I like Catwoman, so yeah. And at least I could have another Batman. But yeah. And uh, give me a minute, guys, and I'll show you the instructions and get my rating on this. Okay, guys, and here's the instructions. This is literally a heavy book, and also there's a barcode. I'll, I'll have to cover that because I don't know if I can show that. But yeah, it has Lego Batman right there, the set number. There's the... Let me cover this real quick. There's the uh, the Batman logo. There's Robert Pattinson. Same thing as on the box, and yeah. I can't show everything on here because I'm sure Lego will pretty get, get upset with me, but yeah, yeah there's... Uh, like I said, this is a big book. And let me see uh, the parts that... The blast effects. Okay, so, all right. For some reason, it does come with uh, these little parts right here. I don't know why. I don't remember those being used. Let me look real quick. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it's used, so I don't know why they uh, they added those for no darn reason. Literally, there's nothing that shows that they're used unless there was a step that was missed. But eh. It's alright. I'll have to go back and look at some reviews. But yeah, there's all the parts that it comes with. So yeah. And also there's a little pirate right there. With a little bird. Arg. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, ah, cover that. Anyway, so yeah. And with that, I'll give my ratings and uh, what I think. All in all, like I said, this is a great set. And I do want to point this out. I wasn't the one that built this set. I do have to thank uh, Mr. Slipstream for putting together this set. She definitely likes... Uh, putting together stuff like this. I did have I did have to help out a couple times. She almost made a couple mistakes, but hey, that's all. We hey, we're only human. We make mistakes in life. So, yeah. But like I said, I actually like this set and I do highly recommend this set if if you're going to be if you're a big fan of the trailers and the uh you like the look of this Batmobile, I highly recommend getting it. But if you don't like the look of this Batmobile, then I guess this is an easy pass for you. But hey, like I said, I love this set. This is really, honestly, the best Batmobile set I, uh, to be honest, this is the only one I actually own. But this is the best Batmobile I, I have in the collection. And pretty much, un besides the, uh, the Justice League, uh, Batmobile, or excuse me, the Batman vs. Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice Lego Batmobile. This, I'll say this. This this Batmobile right here is number one. The just the Batman versus Superman one would have to be number two. To be honest, those are the only two Batmobiles I would really love to own. If I ever got the Tumblr, then it would be three. But still, this is a really good set. I love it. I'm still looking forward to the Batmobile. Or excuse me, I'm looking forward to the movie. What the heck? Well, I am looking forward to the Batmobile appearing in the movie, but still, besides that, I'm looking forward to the movie. We were supposed to get it this year, but due to reasons, it kept getting delayed and delayed. But, yeah. So, other than that, I'm excited for the movie. It's coming out on March 4th of next year. Yeah. And hopefully it doesn't get delayed again. And, yeah. With that, guys, I think... That's about it. Like I said, thanks to Mr. Slipstream for putting this together for me. And I, and if you're watching this later on, thank you for uh, putting this together for me. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. With that, guys, I think that's about it. Like I said, oh, and if I had to rate this set, this set is a 10 out of 10 for me. Literally one of the... I know it's not in scale with minifigures, but still... Regardless, this set is a 10 out of 10. All the way. Without a doubt, a 10 out of 10. So yeah, I hope if anyone is going to get this set, I say good luck to you and happy hunting. And I really do hope you're able to find this set. 
So yeah, with, like <laughs> like I said, with that guys, that's about it. And this is the ghost of Lord Master Starscream saying, Seekers, transform and rain fire. Good night, everyone. Okay, this is just a quick recap. I, uh, after looking at the instructions after I got done with these video, you, this video, you have, uh, these two little, uh, stick blast effect, stick blast effect pieces right there along with that big blast one. I still don't know what that one's for, but on the instructions, and I think they had a little bit of a misprint, so give me a minute and I'll, uh, find that real quick. Okay, here we go. Right here. Okay, on the instructions, it shows you have to apply those two pieces right there. And I'm talking about the ones on the hood right here. So let me uh, just show that off real quick on the set right here. As you see, they're on right there. But if you look at the box, look at the box right here. It has one of the big flame pieces and one of the stick pieces right here. I just thought I mentioned that. So yeah, they had a little bit of a misprint from this right here. To this right here I just thought I mentioned that and also the instructions don't mention nothing about it especially when you uh you have you have to add them on so yeah I thought I'd just mention that so I guess if you uh, want to go by the box art or by the instructions but as Emmett says in the instructions or hang on excuse me as Emmett says in the uh, the Lego movie follow the instructions good night everyone